you here in the club. Okay, let's overview. Thank you. What's still impacting you from the past? Thank you. Current energies. Thank you. And future possibilities. You did not want to give up that current energy. Okay. Underlying is the six of fire. Okay. You are still entangled in a transformation that you are just not willing to let go. It's a battle. It's a battle of self. Okay. And um, you're partially there. The priestess. There's that judgment. Okay. You've chosen to walk ahead, but you're holding a part of yourself back. Okay. So overview, seven of water. It doesn't matter what path you're on. It doesn't matter whether you're in single file or following a crowd or all on your own. Everything's leading to this water source. Everything's leading to this heart space, which is not only being shown to me as like the center of the nebula, but also it's like the um, space that's getting smaller and smaller and smaller in our current reality, where if you don't keep yourself moving, you're going to be stuck with not a lot, like drought, right? What's still impacting you from the past here is eight of earth in reverse. There was a time where you really felt deep and dark and despair in that drought where nothing you were doing was working and all of these shadows came up and that could be why kind of like this mirroring energy, right? Where um, everything had been growing, but then everything stopped and it brought up all these shadows and now you feel like there's nothing growing, but it is the ability to grow. Like what they're showing me here, right, is that you're in the creation of source right here. Okay. This is that creation of source. Uh, they're calling it triple zero. Okay. And you need to slow down and enjoy this part of the process. Current energy here is, again, you're on the new path the pilgrim and there's a need to be in wonder of everything that you're seeing and realizing that there's growth even in this moonlight and allowing this moonlight to let you uh, grow and release and move forward. Future possibilities, there you are rebirthing, showing how much you are shedding and uh, listening to your heart finally so that you can hear those messages. Very beautiful shaman energy, okay? So let's go ahead and look at this. Seven of water, okay? Yeah, you're like, <laughs> you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink. Well, you're not gonna make me drink, okay? 10 of wands, you're just like holding on to the past so tightly Okay, this is a little bit of a fear of success for some of you. Six of Wands, where um, there's a part of you that's like, yeah, I, I, I can be successful, but I don't want to be seen. Okay, but you can't, they're telling me that who you are in your energy, it's not like you can hide. Like you are always going to be seen, but for some reason being seen just makes you feel very uncomfortable. Okay, and again, there's the chariot. And Spirit's saying, we're driving right now. And uh, just allow yourself to flow, okay? <laughs> the Empress has fallen at some point off of the deck. And um, that's a wish for you, right? Is to be or be with this empress energy because it's right on top of the star eight of earth in reverse again three of pentacles in reverse and the two of swords um you do not want to work with this energy did we get a flip or no um because you again are like i don't 
want to go back to where I was, okay? And where you were, you thought you were giving all this love to yourself, but you definitely connected with this higher energy, the Hierophant, and that's your star, okay? You had a taste of that similar frequency to you. And energetically, you married it, okay? But it was all wishes and no fruition they're showing me with that three of pentacles in reverse. And with the not knowing, it kind of has stopped, which is why the chariot came in and they're moving you forward. Okay, the pilgrim, six of swords, again, you're like, I'll get in the boat. I'm not getting in the water. Okay, I'm going to take this journey. But I'm not going on that part. Okay, Queen of Pentacles. Some of this is going to bring you into realizations about your own parenting or your own parents. And um, some of what you wish they would have said to you or even not said to you, or that you've not, you wish you wouldn't have said. Like those sort of things are gonna come up to the surface. But again, they want you to look at them from a sense of wonder, where you can heal, right? King of Swords, where you can see it and understand so that you communicate differently. Communicate from the heart. Okay, the Shaman. Okay, Knight of Swords in reverse and the Five of Swords. Okay, you are going to get into that heart space. And it's about more than just putting the band-aid on it. It's about really understanding it. Cross spot, yeah, Four of Cups. Why have I locked myself out of my heart for so long? It's time for that death. It's time for that transformation. Okay, underlying because you've been overworking that wanting that specific frequency and in that space you've been kind of uh, not allowing it in. Okay, the chariot, knight of pentacles. Again, it's coming determined but slow, slow growth. Okay. Olive. Oliver, come here. I will get water as soon as I'm done with Sagittarius. Quit having a tantrum. Like, he wants you to get into the water. He wants the water right now. He's not willing to wait, and he is my facilitator. Okay. Six of Wands. There's the Five of Cups, right? Lead a horse to water. Can't get it to drink right that's the red flag there for you three of pentacles in reverse mother of cups in reverse okay there's a space where you feel again like some of your worth depends on what somebody else thinks of you and in some of those instances it is mothers okay two of swords and that's one of the wounds to heal here that you don't understand yet you haven't healed it Maybe you're like, no, I love my mom. I've forgiven my mom. Um, or I've forgiven, you know, my own parenting. But you haven't fully. Hierophant. Okay. Yeah, this hurt because this was pure fire. Ten of swords in the sun. Pure, pure fire. And it killed the masculine old energy within you like done okay six of swords again current energy you're getting it you're turning that two of swords around you're understanding what that fire that eclipse season did to you or what the eclipse seasons do to you uh, you're learning to keep your guard up about being too much of that fiery energy and not listening to your heart 
Knight of Swords, though, Ten of Wands. It's still really hard for you to carry it. Yeah, Four of Cups, because your instinct is to cover the cups. Okay, this old wound here. Okay, we've got the Five of Swords, the Four of Cups. What you're addressing here in the future is the wish that went nowhere. Okay, the star and the six of swords. But it did go somewhere. There were many blessings to it. It did transition you. And that's the part that you are needing to see. All the places that you've transitioned in this life and the rebirth that you're going through now. Okay, death. Knight of Wands and Justice. You're learning to take that wand's tone down a little bit and balance yourself. Okay, right? Like there's a place for you to get all fiery and there's a place for you to get gentle. That's the judgment. Okay, really beautiful energy there. Let's see if we can get some timestamps. Okay, again, the magician here. Things are picking up speed because you're at that halfway point where you can uh, show those two sides of yourself. The fool in reverse, it's a future energy that's coming here. It has to come in with trine, with the trinity here of um, your own comfort zone, your own natural talents, right? Um, allowing you to move towards your magician's energy. Again, here's Capricorn energy where there's a lot of materialistic energy uh, that's trying to push down that emotional balance. And that's your past. Again, the Fool is bringing up karmic returns to kind of see where you're not fulfilling your true purpose. I've got Leo in reverse and again the star, right? Um, you're not going to feel st very strong during Aquarius season. Um, underlying here, I've got the wheel. Again, um, things are moving. It could be that um, I've got Gemini and Virgo, which is is again the harvest the magician the hermit it could be that and there's libra all of this is going to balance over that time frame this year right as we move through right gemini virgo libra um into scorpio season so and then there's the completion with Pisces, so oh, there's a flipped card. Whatever you go through, whatever ahas come to you during the Pisces season is what you're gonna complete over the next year. And it is about the karmic connection here of Venus and contracts with other people. Okay, beautiful energy. I hope this helps you and I hope you guys have a beautiful rest of your week. Okay, I will talk to you soon, bye.